All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. All right, here he is, DC. In my mind, this is the most dominant force in the MMA game today. The undisputed UFC lightweight champion, your AKA teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Yeah, and for Khabib, it's the well-rounded skill set that has propelled him to one of the longest undefeated streaks in mixed martial arts history. No missteps, no mistakes, no underestimation of opponents. Always prepared, always ready to go, and he can rely on his the coaching he gets, also on the ability that he has to carry him to victory time and time again. Wrestling, Sambo, Jiu-Jitsu, striking, the guy has it all. I know you listed striking last, but your head coach, Javier Mendez, says sometimes he's going southpaw in yeah. training. We haven't seen just how good a striker he is. We saw shades in the McGregor fight. Yes. But not completely. But technically, he has so many skills that he has not even displayed to the MMA community yet. All right, another big spot for Khabib Nurmagomedov here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with big differences in height and reach. We send it inside the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 246 pounds. Bone Crusher. And now introducing his opponent, fighting! This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Oh, nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Nermago Medoff. That was a thudding leg kick. Single collar tie now. Look at how he drives his knees right into his opponent's midsection. 
Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Just misses with that one. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, straight right. Beautiful body kick landed right under the elbow. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Just over three minutes to go. Nurmago Medov gets the takedown. All right, dominant position for him here. Full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you got to start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. Look at the... Over the top. This fight's gonna be over DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Identical twin. Two is better than one. You might as well double up on the jab. He did so effectively there. Doubling up on the jab, and you see his opponent's head popping back every time it lands. Marco Medov gets hit with a kick. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early, and he lands off. Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Over and over, he landed with big body kicks. Oh, high level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Nermago Meta. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Nice head kick. Nermago Medov gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Gotta find a way to move those feet. Those jabs are landing, though. Keeps going back to that jab. Keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. That's a really strong leg kick there by Nermago Medov. Adam working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the win to the target there. Nice body kick. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. 20 seconds left. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Round one winding down here. Five minutes in the books. signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start. That was so impressive to see. 
someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Nurmanko met off, going for the body kick there, but he misses no setup whatsoever there. Oh, big head kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Unable to land with that punch. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Got the single collar tie. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Real sneaky body kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Good punch, Lance. He blocks the punch. Big punch from the clinch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Ooh, big knee. Nermanko Medov gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, it's one thing to have length, that's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Nermago Meta. Big leg kick land. Body kick now by Nermago Meta. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, and he lands. So good, though, in this round. Huge block there. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, 
start protecting your body. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Big head kick. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got a hurt bad. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Misses again with a right punch. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Well, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Oh, nice elbow. That lands the right hand. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, these man. You gotta check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Check it, check it, check it. Hands up. Beautiful kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. there and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight and they say if at first you don't succeed try try again was able to get him down there. persistence aids and that's what we saw with this young man over and over he shot for takedowns he tried to fix it up and he got defended but eventually he got it done now what does he do with this top control oh so an interesting decision there is he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Now closes the distance. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Oh, left hook to the head. It's blocked. Nice punch by Nirago now. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, big head kick lands. Oh, oh he lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this price is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. All right, single collar tie now. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Got clip with the right hand. Oh, that's a nice strike there by the Mongo Metal. Yeah, Hakeem Nurmagomedov is not only a wrestler, he's a full-on mixed martial artist now, and it showed in that exchange. Big punch man over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Straight right hand, no good. 
Nice kick there by Nurmako Medov. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. 20 seconds left. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, knee strike right to the midsection there. What a, point. What a round. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. And how about the cut on that eyebrow? Oh, man, that's hard to look at even for me. It's gotten really, really bad here. You got to think they're going to call the doctor in here. And if it gets any worse, you got to think they have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round, and a lot of good offensive wrestling work from him over those previous five minutes. I mean, great offensive wrestling. Every time he changed levels and got to his opponent's legs, he was able to secure the takedown. Let's see what type of fatigue his opponent will carry into the next round. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. That was nice play. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Nurmago Medov going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Position for him here. He's got the full mount. We'll see if he can get that ground pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get the full mount and they rush. They get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. Reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work. Make the opponent give his back so they can try to get his chokes off or Fine, great ground and pound, but very patient. Oh, yeah. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh! oh. Good right here. Punch coming, it's blocked. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Three minutes remain in the run. Whiffs off the straight right oh. And just like that, the fight is over. He got him! What a performance! Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. All right, Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Bruce. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at two minutes, seven seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bo Crusher. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and Candidly knocking another man out. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, 